Humans are amazing at identifying an immediate threat. You know, I think it goes back to the olden days where maybe an elephant was coming at you or a tiger or something like that. You know, we, we're really good at seeing something in front of our face that's going to cause us harm and reacting to it. You can see this now, the whole pandemic, everyone's scared. They're suddenly wearing masks. They're not getting outside their house. You see it in South Africa, particularly where houses aren't safe. So what happens? We put up a bunch of security. You know, we're trying to protect ourselves against a threat that we think can happen today or tomorrow. But something <laughs> the general public is terrible at identifying is their health being a risk. You know, no one thinks about not being healthy tomorrow or being affected by, you know, a disease due to obesity or smoking or and, and, and tomorrow. It's always in the back of our head. We're always thinking, oh, that will never affect me. Or we're thinking, you know, that's only a worry in 20 years time, 10 years time. Guys, if you don't do the necessary things now, that worry is going to creep up on you quicker than you realize. You no, know, prime examples, a lot of people will stop a bad habit only once they have a major, major scare. You know, people will stop smoking only when they have a serious complication and a doctor says they have to stop. People will only try to get in shape if they are obese and have a complication around it once someone at the hospital says, listen, this is the case, you need to do this, otherwise this will happen. But of course, by then, it's too late. One, well, hopefully it's not too late, but you've allowed this problem to go on and on and on for a number of years, and now there's an immediate threat. But your problem has occurred through years of bad habits, years of inconsistency, years of not holding yourself accountable, and you can't unfortunately deal with that immediate threat immediately because it's taken years to get to that point. So guys, you need to start treating your health more as an immediate threat, something that's in front of your face because it's very easy to allow yourself to spiral down, down, down for many years and then only deal with the problem later in life. But like I said, maybe it's too late by then. So you guys need to start taking it more seriously right now in the moment. Like I've always said, you don't need to go from zero to 100. But what you do need to do is start treating your body basically how you treat your house. You know, your house gets a security system. It costs a lot of money. You also need to invest that money in yourself, in your house, in your body. You need to protect yourself internally, as well as emotionally, physically, mentally. Because the body transformation isn't just about the superficial change. I've always said that. It's about a lot more than that. Start treating your body like it should be treated today and don't treat it you know how it should be treated in 20 years time when a problem comes. Be proactive, rather stay one step ahead and avoid complications to take y'all seriously than wait for something to go seriously wrong and then react.